Tara here, nice of you to join me. And welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. It's lovely to have you here. So pleased that you've joined me. We're on a second part of the um, folio uh, album that I've been making. I did the walkthrough using the uh, Sir Vagabond in Japan papers. Love, love, love the papers. So lovely to work with. All the Stamperius papers are just absolutely divine. And um, it's always hard to choose which papers to use. So, yeah, if you haven't seen that walkthrough, hit the... Um, I'll put an eye card up in the corner, um, up there somewhere. There we go, up there. And just click on that and that will take you to the walkthrough of this Vagabond in Japan folio album. So you can see what it's going to be, what it looks like um, from start to finish. That. Um, if you are not a subscriber, then please subscribe. It really does help grow my channel. So without further ado, let's get down to business and um, we'll start with the second part of our tutorial. Okay, so we've put our album together and we now have to just start with the inner workings of our book. So you will need to cut out um, these two pieces from your cardstock. So you'll need one that's a hinge mount and that you need to cut at 10 and 1 quarter by 5 inches. It's going to go there and then you'll also need to cut out your hinges so this is the hinge mechanism so you'll need to cut this out at ten and a quarter by five and three quarters and then you need to score score it at three quarters of an inch two and a half inches three and a quarter inches and five inches Okay, and then this is going to attach onto our hinge mount, but we're not going to attach that just yet until we've actually done the box. So while you've got your trimmer out and um, your cardstock, you might as well go ahead and cut out some of construction strips. Now these are going to be for your box, and you'll need to cut um, two at. Um, let me just get them, get my measurements here. So you'll need to cut uh, two at ten inch by one inch. So they're those ones. Then you need to cut two at seven and five eighths by one inch. That's them. And then you'll need to cut out four of seven eighths of an inch by one inch. And each of those um, pieces that I've um, told you to cut out, you need to score at half an inch down the middle, even the small ones here, because these small ones are going to be what fits into the corner of our box. Okay, so that's uh, we'll keep those out for in a moment. And then if you want to cut out your um, bits for your box, you will need... Two long pieces at ten and a quarter inches by one inch, so you'll need two of those. Then you'll need two at one inch by nineteen point eight centimeters, so you'll need two of those. Now the reason I've done these ones in centimeters, um, in part centimeters, is because it worked. It works out uh, of an easier measurement than me having to say, right, you need to cut it at seven and sixteenths of an inch. So it just worked out um, a little bit simpler to do it that way. You'll also then need to cut out your doors, and your doors um, are ten and a quarter inches by nine point nine centimeters. And again, it just worked out easier to do that one measurement in centimeters. So, once you've then cut all them out, you could have paused me by um, now, and um, we're going to add then a double-sided tape to our hinge mount. So 
So next you need to put a strip of double sided tape down each of those creases. Then we can go ahead and just burnish them down and we can take that off, one, two, three, four, I'm just going to put them in the bin. I'm determined to keep my desk clear and I think I'm failing miserably, one, two, three, Okay, then very carefully you need to line them up. So get this as straight as you can on either. It doesn't matter if you've got more this side than this side, but if you can keep it as straight as possible at the top and at the bo at the bo top and the bottom, then your pages are going to go in nice and straight. So then just burnish that down. Get a bit of a workout in. Okay. Then taking your ruler, you're just going to push that up so that you use the force um, against the paper and the ruler and then it just helps give you a nice clean crisp crease line like so. Okay. And just give it a little wiggle there we go and there's your hinge mount in so when we come to put our hinges in it's going to sit on there nicely the hinge mount just adds a bit more stability to your album um, as well as and it uh, just makes it a bit more rigid so onto the box now for the box It is very, very tight, so you're going to have to really, really centred as perfect as you can. Right, I'm just going to cut off four sort of strips of double-sided tape. This is just going to help me join the corners together. Okay. And then I'm also going to add my double sided tape to my um, construction strips. Now we're going to add them on both sides of that mount mountain fold, okay? So, like so, and got them ready. So taking your box we're going to put these, now do they go on the outside or are they on the inside? don't know if they went on the, they went on the inside. So with these, you're going to put some glue down the edge of one of the long pieces. Let's get my glue 
and there we go. Okay, so then this fits over the top. And for some unknown reason, that's just too small. That one's okay. Okay, once you've got it on, take one of your pieces of tape and just fit it over the edge so that they are now that tape is helping stick that into place now for some unknown reason no that fits hmm. that was odd okay so you can either do this way and then or stick this one on I think I'm going to go with this top one so again just put your glue on the edge of that long piece and then that gets stuck to the one that's already down the short end okay get your piece of tape and pull it over so that it's nice and firm Like so. I'm just going to push it over. Okay. And then we need to do this one. And then this is the same. This one gets stuck to the outside again. So your glue needs to go there and there. Okay, so that's the box. Kind of very, very lightly stuck together. I'm just pushing these bits over because we can keep these on. Okay, so now you need to position it. So I'm going to have to turn it this way so that I can see my top and bottom. So where you can see that I want to see the top and the bottom to make sure that it's level and you need to bring it over to this side as much as possible okay it needs to get up a bit Ooh, there we go. I think that's about right then taking one of your Should we do the um, should we do the short or the long first? I don't think it really matters. Right, I think we'll do the long one first. So make sure it doesn't move and it is as level as you can get it. Take off your double-sided tape of one of the long ones. Okay. Pinch it so that um, your fingers stick to the double-sided tape. And then very carefully just hold one, the edge that you're going to put your construction tape to, hold the top of that box so it doesn't move and then push the folded edge of your construction tape into the bottom of that box. So where the box meets the album, just push that in. Okay, and then repeat with the other side. But this one might be a little bit tricky. I might have to do it from this angle. Now you might have to cut um, part of the short ones off, just maybe an eighth of an inch, because I didn't um, I didn't um, allow um, for this extra um, width of these. This, these construction tapes so it will just be minimal so again push that into that 
right angle where the box meets the album and then push that in like so and then we need the short ones and again just a little just needs about that much off if you can see how much that is that's hardly anything okay and then these can go on and then do the exactly the same hold it in place and then push it down yeah then we need one more you see that one fits so it's uh, it just depends on different things really so again push that in uh, push it down there we go I think I'm hoping I've got that about right yes that's just about right There we are. Right, so the outside, you can just now add um, your double-sided tape. Now, what I did forget to do was I did forget to um, tape the edges uh, of the top of the box. I, I was a bit too overzealous and I wanted to get this box in. So, you may want to put your double sided your construction tape around the top of the, your uh, pieces first before you um, add them to your box if you want to um, as I say I, I forgot to do that so I'm just doing it now So all I'm doing is sticking the tape to the top edge of the box and then I'm just pushing them down like so. I actually think this way might be a little bit quicker. Right, so now I'm going to just go around the outside with our construction tape again along the bottom um, and it's just going to help um, keep that nice and secure. So with this I'm going to fold it in half so the sticky side is out, is facing outwards and you keep getting your fingers stuck to it. If that's the case then you've got it the right way. So just fold it in half so that you've created like a sticky construction strip. And that folded edge is going to go into the right angle at the bottom of the box and where it joins the, the album. So stick it as far as you can in and then just firm slide that down and then that will then secure that box along the outside edge and then it also covers as well so this one might be a little bit more tricky because it's the outside so and you've got like a little tiny lip here so with that in mind we're going to push it down into that onto that lip and then we're going to fold this over so you might have a little bit extra so you just need to trim that off like so and then pull that round so you just make a little nick there and then that There we are. 
that's one side do the other so it might be a bit more, more difficult because I've got this long piece so do the same thing and fold it in half That is the whole box. Apart from now we've got to put our little um, mini uh, construction strips on. So with that you will need your double sided tape and again it goes on the, the mountain fold and on both sides. So take your double sided tape off and then they, it just goes into the corner. So push it down to the bottom and then just open them up so the right angle the fold bit goes into the the actual fold in your album and open them up and then they'll they'll keep that and then nothing and I mean nothing apart from a pair of scissors is going to make your book box move so and don't forget, we will cover these either in um, your, your pattern paper or black card um, so that we hide all the workings out. But, I mean, it does look pretty neat, actually, inside there. So, that then is the box done. That was nice and simple. And look, see, I can't move it. It's just bending um, where the where I'm just moving the top okay now that we've put our box together um, we need to then attach our um, doors that are going to open um, and to do that you need to um, cut out some construction strips from your double uh, double sided tape I was going to say from your um, cardstock and they need to measure 10 and 3 eighths by 1 inch so cut them cut you need to cut two of those once you've cut them out you need to score them putting this the short measurement up against your measurement of your trimmer you need to to score along the long edge at half an inch and do that on both okay like so okay then Using your double sided tape, you need to put your tape on the valley side, uh, valley fold side of your um, construction strip because this is what's going to go on the outside of your box, like so, and like so. Taking the double sided off one strip, we're going to line up one of the doors and you're going to just, I'll tell you what we do, we angle it. So if you put your, no, we'll do it this way, put the door where you want it to be so that it's level with the side of the box, this edge is level with the side of the box, just hold it and then push that fold into that corner of the where the door the right angle where the door and the box meet and then just smooth it down okay then taking it off take off that double sided tape from the back Oop. center it again so it's in place and then just push that down and then you should get a nice even fold. So do the same with the other side. So get it nice and even and level with the door that you've already got on. Get your construction strip 
and get it lined up. And then push that down. Okay. Then take the double sided off that side. Put it on and then push it down. And then open it up and you've got two nice doors that fit nice and snugly together. So just to hold that to um, hide that workings out, you can use your tape and just put the tape, you know, get yourself a nice straight edge, that would be better, and get it to the corner. And I'm just going to put it on one side of the box, like so. Cut that end off. And then I'm just going to push the door as though it's going over, like that. Okay, and then fold it down. The construction tape's really good because it does, it has got a little bit of give in it, it's got a bit of stretch, so it will stretch. But that just hides that ugly line. Do the same with this side. Get a nice straight edge. That one's a bit small. Oh, get that off. Okay. Okay, and that and that on there. So push it onto the side of the door. Hoping you can see. Yes, you can. Just cut that excess bit off there. Lift the door up and then work that tape down onto the side of the box like that. And open it and then, as I say, with the stretch of the tape shouldn't tear I mean if you went to really push it down it probably would split but if you just work it like that it, it's that's as far as really what you need um, it to be and then these just a, a nice and snug fit now this construction tape um, as I've said before does come from uh, my creative spirit it's her signature construction tape it's very good um, and you can do so much with it which is brilliant okay so that then is our box completed now we need then to add our flaps that go over the top of the box and I did write my measurements down so my measurements for um, over the box pages so you'll need two of these at ten and a quarter by seven and a quarter and then for the over the box hinges, you'll need by two and a quarter. So once you've cut them out, we need to take our over the box hinges and we need to score, do our first score line at one and three quarters. Okay, that then is the glue tab that we, we are going to attach to our pages. Then you need to take it down and do a line at and score it. Sorry, score a line at one and a quarter, and then go down to one inch, and then do another score line. Okay, like so. Do the same with the other hinge. So, one and three quarters. one and a quarter and one okay 
bringing your book back in. Okay. Right, I want you to fold the top hinge and then the one that's next to it. So that would be the one and a quarter inch score line. So you you'll end up with something like that, like a, a like a U shape there. Okay. So do that on both. Don't score the don't um crease the one inch score line just yet. So we're going to put it on the side here. So we'll need double sided tape just below that last score line. Like so. And then, oops, that's um, ripped, but uh, I'm just showing you. Um, that wasn't supposed to rip, but it has, but I'll do another one in a moment. So, again, on the other side, on the other one, just below that one inch score line. And then along the bottom. Like so. Now you could also put your double sided tape um, on the glue tab part. Um, but you need to work out where you want this to be. So you can have it on the outside like so. Or, uh, or underneath so it then would go underneath um, like that so get your hinge where you've got your double sided tape facing to the right then you've got your hinge strip the, the side that the facing side facing the left and then your the glue tab is at the bottom and folded at a right angle okay so it's a bit like that i hope you can see that in there so this is your glue tab going down here you need to put your glue tab on that side so it will be on your valley fold side okay don't put it right near don't put your your double-sided tape right near to the edge um, because you don't want to don't want to have an overspill of your double sided tape so getting your hinge strip and your page line them up but push that page into that um, scored line okay and then very gently just bring it down and then burnish it flat and then that is then your one page attached so again we're going to do the same for this so it, your double sided tape needs to face the opposite way so to the right your facing side sorry your double sided tape to the left and your um, facing side to the right and then your glue tab at the bottom needs to be at a right angle so that you can put your glue your double sided tape along that tab there we go okay, take that off put that onto your box like so and then just very carefully ease it into that um, scored line and then just burnish down that's going to fit onto our box at the side. So then taking your double sided tape off that long piece, you're going to position that so that it is even. It's going to, again, you're going to slot it into that bottom um, edge of your box, line it up and then just very gently bring it towards the box and then burnish that down, okay? Do the same with this side. Okay. 
do exactly the same, line it up so that it's um, nice and central, ease it up and then burnish that down and then close it up. So that then is your over the top, over the box pages done. Now the only thing we've got to add is our magnets. Now allowing, we need to allow under here for our closure that we've got. So I'm going with this closure um, on to my box. I've got a few different ones but I really like this one. It's a, um, I've got a smaller option of those but it, it the box was too big for the smaller one so I've just gone with I've only got one left so I've gone with the um, wider and longer um, hinge. Um, you need to just make sure that you're going to add you're going to put your magnets on so that they don't um, stifle that hinge uh, sorry that closure so maybe if you put a little bit of something underneath um, maybe something like that and it was just going to so when you put your magnets on it just gives that lift but it should be okay because I have given you've got that extra um, width height um, I have allowed for that extra height but you don't want to push your pages so flat with the magnet otherwise it is going to just pop up so you do need to bear that in mind when you put your magnets on okay so I might just get it to where I want sort of there and then I'm just going to clip it in place like so and then I can put, just work and put my magnets on um, as and when so um, I want to make sure that they are um, I've got enough height so I might just put that underneath because that's then going to give me enough height there so very carefully you can start adding your magnets so I'm going to use four because this is a, a lot of paper to get through um, I want to um, use one on each page so I'm going to put one on the top there turn it over let it find its natural magnetic pull put your next one on there put your double sided not double sided tape your um construction tape and then again just put so put your construction tape so the sticky side is facing upwards and then when you lift that over that's going to then sit in the right place so I'm just going to get that so that I've got it in the right place where I want it like so stick it down There we go, so that's giving me a nice firm closure. And then you could put one underneath, like so, and then that's going to really make it stick. And then when you've put lots of different, when you've got lots of layers on there, it's not going to lose its pull until it's possibly about, it's quite a, um, a lot so push that open and if you can see i had to kind of lift it to about here for it to stop um the pull okay so that then is how we add the bits then to our box so i'm going to leave it there i really hope you've enjoyed this tutorial um it's uh, I've I've, enjoy, I've loved making this these folios. I've been wanting to make a folio for so long, um, and um, so yeah, I'm really pleased that I have made it. If you want to buy the construction tape, then please head over to my Creative Spirit, and um, that's where I get mine from. 
as I say it's really good Claire also has workshops and um, online classes that she does um, I have to say the technique of putting my boxes together using the construction tape um, has come from Claire um, on how the technique of putting it all together but the designing of the actual album is mine so yeah please um, go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber if you are thank you very much if not there will be there is a button just there where my logo is that if you just put your mouse over that it will come up with a subscribe button all you have to do is hit that and then you will become a subscriber it's that easy um, please come along to um, um, follow me on Facebook I have a group over there memory papers art come and follow me on that show me what you've made if you've used any of my tutorials we'd love to um, see what you've made also I have a TikTok now so if you're on TikTok um, I'm over there I will put all the links down below for you to click on that will take you straight away to my site so yeah please come and say hi on any of those so thanks again for watching I really hope you've enjoyed it take care enjoy the rest of your day and I will speak to you soon bye